so guys I was thinking what's something good before we do this mic'd up series today that I can talk about that I've been experiencing here the last I don't know a few weeks maybe even month the subject that keeps on coming back to me a lot is faith and why would something so simple be so important in this season of my life well a lot of the people that are coming into the ministry right now are experiencing a lot of things that involve faith. And I notice anytime, you know, faith is risk, right? So anytime you're about to make a faith move, it's scary because it's literally going to open up the destiny on your life. So what would happen if you're going to make a faith move in Christ that's going to open up the destiny on your life? Well, of course, attacks are going to happen. Doubts are going to come in your mind. Family's going to come out of nowhere and try to stop you. Um, friends that you wouldn't think would say don't do something are going to say don't do something because, well, it doesn't appeal to the standards of this world and things like that. So, yeah. Guys, some of you watching, I guarantee you're about to make faith moves. And some of you probably have been promised something from the Lord for years and you haven't seen it made, be made manifest yet. I want to encourage you man go against all the naysayers as long as everything's in order by the way but do everything you can to get uncomfortable you know because if you don't get uncomfortable then it's kind of hard for God to get a big testimony out of it so we want to see a big testimony happen and I hope this encourages you because Hebrews 11 6 says it's impossible to please God without faith so do something that will open up the heavens in your life and cause God to get all the glory. Take that step of faith, take that risk, turn the voice of the enemy off, turn the voice of the naysayers around you off, and do it, and I promise you, God will honor that step of faith, just like he honored Abraham when Abraham took that step of faith into a land that was unknown. So, anyway, let's have fun, man. We're about to get mic'd up. I don't know who's getting mic'd up, but we're gonna mic them up. Let's do this. So, John. Hey. How you doing since that last video, man? I'm doing great. Yeah? Doing good. God's doing good. Yeah, give a testimony. What happened after that deliverance, man? Well, I know I was high in the spirit. Yeah? And felt good. And I'm feeling good still. And God is good all the time. Come on, man. What Did anything specifically change, though? Did, um, did you notice a difference in, in any area? Yeah, I can breathe better. I'm breathing much better and and I am more happier. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, he is soul winning, baby. Yep. And laying hands on the sick and casting out those demons. Amen. Come on, bro. Yeah. yeah. Set free from everything else. Oh. Set free from everything else. From the from my things that would bother me with my past and everything. Got Come all on. that set free. That's awesome, man. That's, that's what these people like to hear, yeah. bro. Because of the Lord, thank Him. God I is give good. Give Him all the thanks and praises. Without Him, I couldn't make it out of life. Come on. Amen. Come, let's walk. Come. Yo, we got squad here today. Come, Come let's walk. Come on. We got Kim Suarez in the yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Suarez. Yo. Hey. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Yeah. It's gonna go down tonight. Yeah, NOC. And fame back after five months. That's right. That's yeah. right. Hey, but I'm back. I'm back, bro. <laughs> we got a little evangelist right here. Say hi. That's right. Annalise, say hi. She's a worshiper. Yeah, she is. Say hi. <laughs> She's like. <laughs> Get on this. Yeah. Right, these are only two. Y'all are believers, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. So that's the right side. Mm -hmm. That's your. You said your son. Mm -hmm. So this is how this works. If you get some, watch this. This is my son, right? Okay. Also, what I got attached is I got a tattoo called Warrior right here. Okay. He used to be a cage fighter, right? Mm -hmm. And my dad used to be like a wrestler and all this stuff. So mm -hmm. Warriors in my blood somewhere. Okay. But but usually what it means if your son 
your son's going to carry your legacy and your heritage. Wow. Does that make sense? Because he's not on your left side, because mm -hmm. that usually just, you know, you put him on your right side. So this has to do with destiny. So what it shows me is you're kind of like, you know, Solomon and David. Okay. So David got the idea for the temple. Solomon had the temple come true. Whatever dream, you have some big dream in your heart. <laughs> There's something big that you want to see manifest. I don't know if it's business-wise, oh, some entrepreneurial thing, but you're going to start it and mm -hmm. your son's going to inherit it and he's going to grow it and make it bigger than what it already is. Wow. And y'all, that's both of y'all, right? Yeah. Oh, that's her son, but I... Okay. He's basically my son. He's okay, basically yeah, your son. Yeah. yeah. So your cool. son has a legacy and a heritage that's going to be passed down through you. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Wow. Does it make sense? <laughs> it does. Okay. <laughs> and what else was on? Let me see what else was on. Just here. the one from one of my sisters. Proverbs. What does it mean? Three and fifteen. Um, talk about it like a virtuous woman. A virtuous woman. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're that's simple. You're just a woman of integrity. Yeah. So that's what would that know. also would that also show me? That would show me that you're a natural leader. Um, you see the best in people. It's hard. It's hard for you to really. And this is what it is. I guarantee you got a lot of friends around you. That you it's <laughs> almost like you're kicking them all the time. Come on, man. Move. Let's go. Why are y'all not doing this? Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. <laughs> and you're like the one grabbing them and pulling them along because they're but they're sitting around like, oh, I don't know about this. What's your name? Rachel. I don't know, Rachel. You know, and it's just all these things. These doubts are hidden. Mm -hmm. They're listening to the thoughts, and you're like, come on, man, let's go. Let's keep moving. You can do this. You're like their cheerleader. Does that make sense? It does. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that would line up with that. What else we got? That's it. These are my only two. Nothing on the other side. Nope. Nothing on your back or. Nope. Okay. What about you, guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, right here. Does that make sense? Though? It does. It does. So we got, we no got pain. No, oh, we got a basketball. No pain, no, pain, pain, no yeah. gain. This is the right side. Right side. And so the, this is this is this is legacy. Yeah. <laughs> so that means that's in your family. Yeah. Basketball players. But when I know that this might not be it, but watch this. I see the sword through that. That shows that people have went after their dream, but their dreams haven't manifested. Does that make sense? I was telling her that right there. You're just telling her that. Yeah. So, but it ain't only you. That's that's the legacy. So it shows me that there's been a something in your bloodline where, when men in your family go after their dreams, it's get shot down. It gets shut off it's because that sword going into your dream. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes we don't understand what we're doing, but what we're doing is spiritually showing what's been going on. But that's easy. We can break that. What about on the back end? Family. Mm -hmm. Okay, family man. That's in the legacy. Family's tight. Yeah. You know, family first. Yeah, that's me. That's you. Yeah, family first. And that's not only you, that's everybody behind you, too. Your family gatherings, everything. Y'all come together, y'all chilling, y'all kicking it. Hey, you know, it's a good time. Am I right? What about next? I just put a little simple rose here. I don't know why I did. I just wanted it's, to see. It's because you're, you're an affection and an intimate guy. You, like, you really like to be romantic. You're a romancer. <laughs> <laughs> when you do something, you do it. You know what I mean? You like to woo the lady. Y'all are together, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're a romancer, man. You like a, you know, you're, you know, you're doing a good job, buddy. You know what, <laughs> what else do we got? Uh, let's see. On my chest, I have Philly's finest. Philly. So is your family from Philly? I'm from Philly. My You're mom's from Philly. side's from New York. My dad's side's from Philly. Yeah. Philly's finest. And Liberty Bell. And then this means delay is not denial. Delay is not denial. Mm -hmm. Oh, that just means you don't run into everything. You just step back, you watch, you, you, you're seeing what's going on before you jump jump into the pond. That's all <laughs> <laughs> right? Some people call it stuffing, but... No, it's wisdom in it, but also you could be your biggest hindrance, too. Right. You're like... And your personality, you're probably somewhere, somewhere in your your heritage has got to be music, man. There, there's got to be music. I'm a musician. You're a musician. <laughs> yeah, you're a musician. Yeah. Yep. I can tell it in your personality because you're creative. Everything about you screams music, man. You know what I mean? Let me see what else God wants to show me, bro. Uh, this one right here basically says, if we never had any rain in our lives, then we'll never grow. Amen. If we never have any, oh, yep. So that means you embrace the storm, bro. You know adversity comes. You know the trial's there, but you're going to push through because you know there's growth in the end. It takes faith to do that, bro. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you've been through a lot of trials, bro. I got this one right here. This is my first tattoo I ever got. The lion? Mm-hmm. So first thing comes to my heart, 
line of Judah, you got a Christian heritage in your bloodline. Everybody's Christian. Is that right? I'm a believer. You're a believer? Mm -hmm. In Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. Okay. Follower of the way, we'll call it that. Right. We won't label it. Right. And then my last one is here. And who's that? Um, a boy died of domestic violence. And my mother, a lot of people, my family went through all, like, uh, sexual abuse, physical abuse, all that. So anybody who survived it, that means that angel was with them. If they died, that means the angel took them. Mm. Okay. That's kind of how I see it. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying your family went through a lot of stuff? Yeah. Okay. You know why? It's because you have a prophetic call on your life. Your family. So, what are the? Who are the most persecuted people in the Bible? The prophets. They're beat up, they're torn down, everybody comes against them. You know, also you're a musician, that's a prophetic gift too. So that's why, you know, it's like a love-hate thing. People love you, or they really don't like you, you know? And I know people like to abuse your, your heart. They, they take your kindness for weakness. You ever said those words? Yeah. You're a good-hearted dude, man. The thing about you is you're a loyal friend. If people really see the best and they see who you really are, they'll find out that you're a really loyal cat and that you'll really be there for them. But a lot of people don't see that part of you. You know what I mean? So they just, they assume and they, they think they can take advantage, but that doesn't work out too well for them, right? Yeah. So I read you, right? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Yeah, I keep feeling this too. This keeps coming to my heart. Did you Did you have somebody, I know you, you have that loss over there, but did you have a family member that you lost that was really close to you or something? Yeah. I was really feeling that in my heart when I was speaking to you, that you had somebody really close to you. Was it a grandmother? No, it was my cousin. It's your cousin? Well, we grew up as brothers. He just died recently. Mm. No, I wasn't, I only, the only thing I knew was from the Lord that was the family lost a close Yeah, I was family. gonna get it on my leg because he was shot in his leg. So that was my next. Right side's legacy. Yeah, man. And his, my, it was LLC. Y'all were a close. lot alike? Yeah. Very much like kindred spirits almost. Yeah. Did everything together crazy, bro. Let me pray for you, man. I, got, I want to get this off your life. Tell me your name again. Javon. Father, I thank you for Javon. Lord, I thank you right now. This is tattoo right here, Lord. I pray right now that his dream will never be snuffed out. Lord, I pray even today that there will be a shift in the spirit, that everything will change, nothing will remain the same. I thank you for this man of God, this prophetic worshiper. I thank you, Lord, for using him in a mighty way. Lord, I thank you even for his family, too, their dreams manifesting and coming true, Lord. I pray right now those oppressive attacks that have been coming against him and his family, I pray right now all that stuff to go. I pray no depression to lay any, any that generational depression that's tried to come on the family, too. I break that stuff off right now in Jesus' name, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that even as his cousin, as they were pretty much brothers, Lord, I just pray, Lord, that that legacy will still live, still live on through him, Lord. And I just thank you, Father that this is a new season of his life. There's no chance that this would happen right now. And uh, I even bless this woman too behind him, Lord. I just pray, Lord, you just bless her socks off, Lord, and help, help her to continue to pursue her dreams and that entrepreneurial spirit that's on her. Let her push through and get that business idea out there, Lord, so that uh, it can manifest and turn into everything that it needs to be. So, Lord, we just bless you. I thank you for these, this awesome man and woman of God, and I thank you for what you're going to do with them in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank yeah, you bro. So yeah, man. You guys are awesome, man. Thanks. I love reading tattoos, dude. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yo, man. Thank awesome you. meeting you, bro. Thank you. It's awesome, man. Bye, Rachel. Bye. Nice meeting you.